The mole was Hamura's personal underworld assassin. With a mounting threat behind them, Yagami and Kaito are forced to cut ties with Matsugane. And the two set foot down a path of no return. Finally, the name of a mastermind bubbles to the surface. The man is an AD9 researcher, Yoji Shono. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Eyewitnesses claim they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Mm, sounds like the plan didn't go so well. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Yeah. At least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look? Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Hey, did you come to taunt me or help me? <laughs> don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help how? I found someone who's an expert on AD9. Looking into that research paper might be our best shot at finding more leads. And I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. I'm impressed. Good work, Hoshino-kun. Just... Man. Well, the expert I found... It's Hattori-san, the journalist you kinda hate. What? Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? He said he'd tell us what we want to know, if you asked him nicely. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. I don't care about the paper. <laughs> Yagami-san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's gonna want something in return later. Hattori-san's waiting for you at Kyushu number one star. Apparently, come on, Yagami. Son. Hmm? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Yagami-san. Don't tell me you're using a phone camera to take pictures for your article. The resolution on these things is plenty high nowadays. You have a problem? Not really, no. Just didn't know sensationalist food columns were a thing. I only report on things that interest me. That's my professional... Well, is it gonna take... Don't worry. Kind of strange sharing a bowl of ramen with you. I thought the day would never come. <laughs> Relax, Yagami-san. Are you still working for Kajihira? I'm not sure I'd go that far. He just calls me in for favors every now and again. Helps to be on good terms with the guy. For my job, you know? Uh-huh. It'd be nice to be close with you, too, Yagami. I heard you were the one who discovered Shintani-sensei's corpse, after all. I'm here to talk 89. If that's not what this is about, I'm not sticking around. All right, all right. But you'll owe me for this.
Generally, drug development starts with the discovery of a compound that can treat a given disease. That compound becomes the candidate for a drug. They then test its effects on animals, after which the drug heads to clinical trials. Which is a nicer way of saying human experimentation, by the way. As for the process, it can take years, sometimes even longer, to ensure a drug is truly safe for public consumption. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, I get it. Before None can cure it completely, but Director Keto's 89 proved remarkably effective at doing just that when tested on mice. If it can work on humans as well, maybe we can finally kiss Alzheimer's goodbye. At least, that's what the paper they published a year ago claimed. Interesting. Yagami-san, hmm? in this country, one in four people over... That means for a couple in their 50s, there's a good chance that one of their parents has it. And the odds that one member of that couple will develop it themselves is 50-50. No matter how you look at it, dementia is an inescapable issue. If I... In some cases, they can slow the progress enough that you can even keep working. I guess my point is, dementia is not... Our biggest enemy is ignorance and apathy. Yeah, if you say so. Good. I'd like to give you a rundown of what exactly Alzheimer's is then. You interested? Well, you're gonna, even if I say no, right? <laughs> you bet I would. Now let... Out of all the diseases that can cause dementia, Alzheimer's accounts for roughly 70% of cases. It's believed to be brought about by buildup of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain. When that happens, nerve cells start dying off and the brain begins to atrophy. So to put this in layman's terms, waste buildup kind of shrinks the brain. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah. But even that is just a theory at this point. There's still much to learn about Alzheimer's. And when your brain shrinks? Your memory is impaired. Let me explain. There are three processes involved in memory. Encoding, storage, and retrieval. Alzheimer's impairs the first step, encoding. This, I'll give you an example. When doctors asked a dementia patient the date, they had no problem producing the correct answer. But when asked the year, the patient said 1952. Their mind was stuck decades in the past. You see, dementia not only inhibits new memories, but jumbles the ones you already have as well. Hmm. I think I understand. Good. So how exactly does 89 cure Alzheimer's? It brought about a process known as autophagy. Which is what? It's a Greek word that means self-devouring. That's what your body starts to do to its own protein. In other words, all the amyloid beta built up in the mice's brains began to instantly break down. Instantly? Yes. And once it was all gone, their Alzheimer's stopped progressing entirely. The most shocking thing is that even brain cells which had lost function were able to recover. As one researcher put it, it's if they can bring about similar effects in humans, they'll have a cure for Alzheimer's. That's right. There are millions of patients worldwide, and that number is growing steadily every day. If they actually complete this drug, it's nothing short of a dream drug. <laughs> if you ask me... Excuse me? I mean, the vice director of the ADDC suspected something fishy was going on with it. But when he started digging around, someone offed him to keep their secrets safe. Made it look like a brawl so nobody'd get suspicious. What kind of secret are we talking? Like the drug's effects being falsified. No, there's no chance of that. Huh? But since the announcement of 80, it's no one test after an... And you're sure? Yes. I'm of the mind they should push forward faster, even if the paper was a little rough around the edges. After all, dementia drugs are being developed all around the world. It would be a shame if someone beat them to the punch both for the ADDC and for Kido-san is far too cautious. This is no time to be testing on animals. They need to move to clinical trial. By which you mean experiment human experiment. Wait. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just, are you absolutely sure there's nothing off about 89? I guess there is an intro. Hmm? 
Kido-san is listed as the sole author. But in truth, he only put his name on the paper to lend it credibility. The key researcher was someone else entirely. So the one I want. So you're saying. Seems so. The paper would never have gained such worldwide traction without Kido-san, though. They needed a leading expert to rubber stamp the research and make it seem more official. That kind of thing is pretty common, though. Not really a cause for concern. Shono, what's your role in all of this? Yo, welcome back. Hey there, Yagami-san. The gang's all here. How did things go with Hattori? Yeah. Wait, are you saying there isn't actually anything up with 89? That's what Hattori said, yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing about Kido not really being involved, though. It's possible Shono's hiding the truth from even him. Maybe. But first... One term in particular stuck with me from my chat with Hattori-san. Which is? Human experimentation. Go on. Apparently, 89 is just about ready to be tested on real human subjects. <laughs> well, that's gross. Side effects include bloating, blindness, and death, right? Knock it off. Sorry, sorry. Well, I've just been thinking. What if all these murders were secretly experimental trials for 89? You're... Yours. If Shono's the one behind What? You think this guy Shono went out, hired an assassin, and started killing people? Guess it's a bit of a stretch, huh? Even if these people were test cases, if this is a dementia drug, not some... No, but what if it really did have some kind of crazy side effects? Like, they didn't want to kill the people, but they ended up dying. It was perfectly fine when they tested it on mice. If it ended up killing someone... Yeah, wait a sec is right. We're on the same page here. What if 89 was completely harmless to mice, but lethal when- If that was the case, they'd need to perform a ton of ex- Which is why they killed all those Kyore guys. Back it up. If they're testing a drug, wouldn't they want to use it on an action? I mean, it's not like those Kyore guys all had Alzheimer's or- That's true. Actually, it says here that they test new drugs on healthy humans as well. They're the control group to make sure the drug is safe. Yeah, eventually. It wouldn't make any damn sense for him to start on anyone but real patients, though. But... Just give it a rest. Try taking this seriously for... We are taking this seriously! Says the dumbass kid who keeps spouting tinfoil hat shit! <laughs> the only dumbass here is the guy- Oh, next you're gonna tell me they experiment on old man Waku, too! Fucking idiots. Hmm? What? That incident three years ago with the, the guy who died, Waku-san. Hey, I, I think you're on- Huh? Think about it, Kaito. Waku-san was an Alzheimer's patient at the... We know for a fact that Okubo didn't kill him, but they never tracked the real murderer down. All right, cool your fucking jets. AD-9 didn't even exist back then. True, it was only announced last year, but all the research that went into that paper would have reached way further back. Huh? Wait, are we really on to something? It's hard to say for sure, but it's worth looking into. Shit would be. I have a few. Mind if we can take. Sure. Okay, so let's say Shono did experiment on Wakusan. They normally do a lot more to ensure a drug. What was his motive for. Maybe he wanted to try his groundbreaking new drug on a real live human as soon as possible. If it worked. He'd have the cure, and he'd have it without dealing with all the red tape these things go through. That's possible. I guess Shono was surrounded by dementia patients. One little test wouldn't be a big deal, and if it succeeded, his if it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. But instead of doing what it was meant to do, 89 had a horrible side effect. The more I think about it, the more it feels like this is how it all went down. It's starting to make sense. But now, even though he knows the risks, he's still experimenting. 
and using the mole to do it. I know this is all just a theory, but the pieces all seem to fit together. Going down that path, Yagami-san, that means but he murdered his girlfriend right after. Quit it, Sugiura. Yeah. So, to summarize our theory so far, it all started three years ago when sh But those tests are still ongoing. But wait, how would a guy like Shono get wrapped up with Yakuza and a sa- Your run-of-the-mill researcher wouldn't have the cash or connections for that shit. But what if someone close to him did? Someone Shono knows who's got Yakuza ties? Shigeru Kajihira. I'm not so sure about- uh, Huh? Think about it. The murdered Kyore Yakuza are- Besides, there's no evidence- I uh, guess- Well, we can- The Minister of Health. <laughs> you think an active cabinet member is out hooking Shono up with Yakuza? Hmm. I s but I'm not sure he has the motive. Who else do we have then? Someone who could get Hamura? Ryusuke Kido. Director of the ADDC. Oh, I see. Kido would have access to ADDC. There's even been talk of him having ties to the Yakuza son. I think you've cracked it, Yagami-san. It had to be Kido. Uh, I don't know if- Why? Think back to the 89 press conference. He was so proud. But if he knew about all this human experiment shit- Kid's got a point. <clears throat> then maybe he was only told about the experiments after the conference. That would still make sense. Uh... First, Shono gets Kido to sign off on the A- Thrilled about the possibilities. Kido proudly presents the research at that press conference. There's no turning back after that. That's probably how Shono got Kido on his side. He then used Kido's funding and connections to bring in Hamura and the Mole. It feels like all the pieces are falling into place. Mm -hmm. That means... Kido's not actually the one in charge. Right. Shono... Mm. Let's say you're right. When did Shono start using this guy? When was the Mole's for... Probably Hashki's death. Why do you- Hashki inching closer to the truth about 89, but as we know, Shono was in a taxi at the time of the beating, meaning someone else must have been responsible for Hashki's death. The man in the black raincoat. Yeah. Only the best of the best assassins would have the skill to do what they did to Hashki. Can't argue with it. Who knows how close Hashki was to finding out about the human experiment. Yeah, and if he had, that would have been the end of the line for Shono. Seems like a plausible motive to me. Mm -hmm. So what, everything- I if you have something to say. I mean, it all sounds almost... Hmm? What do you mean? If Shono killed Wakusan at the ADDC three years ago, then Okubo, the primary suspect in the case, would be totally in the clear. Yep. All right. But Okubo, he... He killed it. He stabbed her over and over. Reeked of booze, too. You defend him all you want. That's why the whole thing was such a big deal. Everyone realized the it took the death of an innocent girl for them to realize that Okubo probably did it after all. Yet here you are, claiming the court got it right, claiming Okubo's innocent. But you just don't want to feel responsible for Emi Terasawa's death. That's it, isn't it? Enough, Sugiura. You're way out of line, and you don't know shit. Look, I know I get swept up in my emotions pretty easily sometimes. All the same, I'm trying to be fair here. Are you? So if we want to treat Yagami-san's theory like it's the truth, then we'll have to figure out whether or not Okubo is innocent. And how are you suggesting? It's simple. We just go to Okubo and ask if he did it. You want to talk to him face to face? A lawyer like you should have no problems. He can't stand me though. From day one, Okubo insisted he was innocent. That he didn't, but I... Abandoned. Fine. But that's a pretty weak if you really want to pursue this case. Well, Hoshinokun. Yes? Let's go talk to Okubo. I can try. Thanks. Looking over the old case. All right.
Mind if I look over a case file? The ADD. I'm seeing Okobo's. Huh? What do you mean you're seeing Okobo? Hold on. I'll Thanks, sorry, son. How's it going, Yagami? Oh, what do you have there? The files for Emi Terasawa's case. Well, I... Yagami-san, I think you should look them over. If you really don't need them, just leave them here. Emi Terasawa, 26 years, December 2nd, 2015, about 11 p.m. Her body, 15 stab wounds to the chest, presumably inflicted while she was still alive, caused no ash in her lungs, so she didn't inhale any smoke. Emi died before the fire started. Shinpei Okubo, the victim's boyfriend and roommate, was found at the scene and arrested. Murder weapon is thought to be a kitchen knife. It was covered in Okubo's prints. Okubo was wasted out of his mind when firefighters arrived at the apartment. Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. But Okubo claims he doesn't remember ever drinking. That he woke up surrounded by flame. He's pleaded innocence from day one. Yagami, do you really have to do this? <sighs> yeah. But why? I need to know if he was really innocent. I'm going to find the truth, Kenda sense. What? It well, either way... I never felt like I closed the book on this. I mean, but we didn't have anything definitive to prove it. The only thing the ruling said was that they couldn't conclusively prove his guilt. Meaning for the public at large, Okubo got laid off from his job and had his personal... Yeah. The guy barely even went outside. Couldn't... But I didn't ask him about any of that. Didn't really... Until one day, Okubo gave up his years of... And what? I helped set a murderer loose on the world. In other words, Emmy died because of me. I'm not gonna let you do this to yourself. Do you remember your dad's last case? Must have been almost 20 years ago. Do you, Yagami? Yeah. No way I could forget. The defendant in that case raped and murdered a 15-year-old girl. At least that's what they said he did. Everyone in the damn country thought that guy deserved to get executed. No thoughts of innocence, except from your dad. You know how it all went down after that. He gave the prosecution what for. Your dad never compromised his ideals, no matter what. He said a lawyer's job isn't discovering the truth or even knowing it. It's proving the prosecution doesn't have enough evidence to convict. Do you understand? That's how he saw the defense's role. It takes some real guts to say that. That's why you looked up to him, and you would have never become an attorney without his influence. In the beginning, sure I did, but you know, a lot happened afterward, with my dad, and with me, too. Yeah. It's possible the defendant actually was guilty. Raped the girl, killed her in cold blood. He disappeared almost immediately after the trial. And so, all of the hatred, all of the anger people felt was thrown on to my dad. Not long after, he and my mom were killed by the victim's father. Even so, I don't think your old man did anything wrong. Our job's showing that the prosecution doesn't have enough evidence, not finding the truth. And when you defended Okubo the first time around, that's exactly what you did. Listen to me, Yagami. You didn't do anything wrong. Sure, I get what you're saying. 
but a girl burned to death because I was good at my job. Ever think about how that feels? What? It's easy to sit back and tell me I did nothing wrong, but put yourself in my shoes. Could you say you did the right thing? That's enough! How long are you gonna let this dominate your life? For as long as I live. Yagami speaking. Hey, it's Hoshino. I've arranged our chat with Okubo. Meet me at the taxi stand on West Shichifuku Street. I'm on my way there now. Got it. Thanks. I appreciate the concern. I've said all I wanted to say. It's fine. I half knew you weren't gonna listen anyway. Genda-sensei. Hmm? You and I both saw what happens when you don't pursue the truth. I can't let that go. I won't. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Yeah. It's been a while. I apologize. I've been alone all this time. Talking is... Don't worry. We're not in a rush here. You look so different. Yeah. I haven't been back in the courtroom since the last day of our case. Meaning you're not a lawyer? Not quite. I'm a detective, in Kamurocho. Pays the pills, you know. And that's all my fault? Hey. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't what I came here to talk about today. <clears throat> Three years ago, at the ADDC, did you... Did you actually murder Wakusan or not? What? Yagami, I... I don't understand. You know I'm innocent. I didn't murder Wakusan. Or Emi-chan. Why won't you listen to me? I told you time and time again, I didn't kill anyone! Why won't people just believe me? <laughs> the prosecution had more than enough evidence to convict you for Emmy's murder. It was an open and shut case. Of course not. How am I gonna win? Don't think I couldn't tell. Every time you went up there and tried to clear my name. So, um, Okubo-san. <sighs> my name is Hoshino from the- If you don't mind, we have a theory about the- I do mind. But don't you want to know who really killed Wakusan? <laughs> it was an ADDC researcher by the name of Yoji Shono. I remember him, but you're saying he did it? Here, let me explain. <sighs> Wakusan's death was an 89-related accident. The drug must have killed him on the spot. Shono panicked, searching for a place to hide the body. Which led him to my- Yeah. It must have been the only option he could think. Things may have turned out differently had you actually reported finding Wakusan's body. But as we both know... So all this... It was a better stroke of luck than Shono could have ever asked for. After all, the cops never even suspected him. God damn it! I don't know what the hell I was thinking back then. It all happened so fast. I opened the truck. 
and the body was there. Naturally, I panicked. The police never would have believed I didn't kill the guy. Of course not. Why would they? I already had a criminal record, too. I was a fool. Okubo. So you really were innocent after all, huh? Do you even need to ask? I guess not. Thank you. Yagami-san? Yagami-sensei! What about Emmy? Aren't you gonna ask me about her? I told you before, I never would have killed her! I... I want to believe you. I really do. But I already did everything I could. I searched non-stop for some kind of hint. But a guy can only spend so long poring over burnt scraps of evidence. After three years, I'm not holding out much hope. So... Guess the real killer is still out there. Just biding his time, waiting for my execution. How are you and I gonna face Emmy in the afterlife? Come on, man! Tell me how! Yagami-san. What's up? I think I'm gonna head back to Gendis. Not sure yet. I think maybe I'll swing by. I could use... Yagami-san. I'll be all right. So, I... Kuroiwa. I had to come congratulate you myself on your... I'm not gonna be the one defending him. Wasn't Shintani-sensei your mentor? You're helping to free the man who murdered him. <laughs> Are you confused or just desperate for a few scraps off the table? But it wouldn't be the first murder you've said loose in a... Aibe didn't kill Shintani. His gun begs to differ. Yeah, that's how the real killer framed him for it. If you seriously can't see that, then I'm not the... Say what you will. Um, more or less. Doesn't look like you're here to talk. That's right. Your little detective game's over, Yagami. Wait, who is that? Yagami-san! Hoshinoku, stay back! Huh? This guy's dangerous. Uh, I can see...
Give me Sana, are you? I'm fine. But that guy wasn't messing around. What do you mean? He would have killed me for sure. Maybe one. What's up, Tuck? Listen, someone just tried to murder me. What? Watch your back, Kaito san. Right by the office. Don't go back. Oh, yeah? KJR, the Kyore HQ. Wait, you're gonna go there after we beat the crap out of Shioya? You think they'll just let us hang? Of course I do. We'll go on ahead. Sounds like we're meeting a. I heard. Well. I check. Yagami-san. I'm... Uh, uh -huh. Sorry to...
Well, if it isn't young, huh? Sorry about how rude we German Kajahiras. Listen to this talk. I had you all wrong, Ross. Don't get too carried away. Maybe I'll see if Shioya. Um, I'm gonna say that's. Anyway, go on and. Hmm. So Okubo really didn't. If his reaction's anything to go. He might not have even killed his girlfriend. At least that's how it looked to me. Huh? I'd rather not go there right now. I've been wondering, Yagami sensei. You curious? Can't blame a guy for asking. Well, apparently he's afraid of Yakuza. Hmm. Huh. So. Shono's looking more suspicious every day. About time for a good old face-to-face. -face. Judging from our last visit, we won't be able to get an appointment. And we won't make an appointment. All we do is wait in the lobby, then ambush. A stakeout, huh? Actually, you're gonna be- Huh? I mean, they'd catch on in a heartbeat if they saw a tough guy like you standing around, and Hoshino- Okay. All right then, so- Yeah. We going? Man, these keep it close to your chest, Sugira. Now let's settle down and wait for. But what if you already went home? I don't want to sit here all. Good point. We going? Excuse me. Yes. Is Shona? Oh, uh, most likely. Do you have an appointment? Not exactly. Oh, Yagami. Oh, you're Hashimoto. Oh, right. Do you need something more? Well, Yagami san, there. Uh, gotta run. Where is he? Over there. Uh huh. We going? Suspicious. Hey. What the? Suspicious. What the? Found him. What do we do? Okay, let's move in. Well, if it isn't Yagami-san, come on, you again. This had better be the last time I. Are you aware that I filed a complaint? Aren't you the vice minister? Of My name is. I yeah, I remember you from the other day. Of course. As such, there are a great many discussions. Now I suggest you leave. <sighs> so much for the plan. Doubt he'll be coming down through the lobby now. We going? Hashimoto-san. It's all right, Dr. Shun. Yeah. Hmm. He, lately, he only go- Even so, he makes his morning rounds at the hospital every- I can't overstate how much- What do you mean, rap? It's a little custom of his. He- Right. Passion like his, and with that, I should be going. It's fine. Goodbye, then. Security, but that's not the case for the hospital wing. Meaning, we have some time to kill- Wait. You want to chill till the morning and- Yeah. Just have to s Guess the next question is- Let's check the map. Where did you disappear to? Suspicious. This is the garage for the hospital. The service and- <laughs> What the? What? No, we should- Suspicious. Guess we're sneaking in through the garage. Yeah. Come on, let's head.
Can I help you? Are you from the Yagami Detective? That's right. I'm the head of security here. The Vice Minister has instructed me- Ichinose-san? You blind or something? We're already leaving. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to escort you the rest of the way. That's a lot of guys- Hey, where the hell are you taking us? And this should be- Mashiko-san, yeah? What? Make sure you never show you- The fuck? That doesn't look like standard issue guard equipment. <laughs> Ah, oh, let me get. <laughs> you bet. Now fight me! What do you mean? True. The Walt. So? How's it look? Not even a little bit. We going? You're not going in? Yagami-san, if you- We'll just have to confront him head on. Where we go from there depends- You don't want to negotiate with him? I doubt we have the time for that. After all, this is probably the only chance we'll get to talk to Shono before Ayabe's trial. Guess so, huh? Meaning, we don't have time- Gotcha. Speaking of Shono, well, the mur- The thought is that Shono framed Okubo for that and got away with it, right? Mm-hmm. But you defended Okubo. Wouldn't the cops have started looking for the real killer once they realized Okubo? Sure they did. But wasn't they didn't have much reason to keep searching, I would imagine. Exactly. Everyone pegged him as the murderer. Makes sense they'd think he's the one responsible for Wakusan, too. But don't you think that's kind of convenient? For one person in particular, I mean. Huh? The guy who's doing human experiments at the ADDC. Your point? Basically, I think he killed Emi Terasawa and pinned the blame on Okubo. With all he had to lose, don't you think Shono had a motive? I guess, but... I know, but could he really... How long have you been thinking? Since you told me what a mess Okubo is now. Honestly, but I just couldn't bring my... Emi-chan was... I wasn't gonna let it slide, but after all this time, it turns out... Nothing's for sure without evidence. This... But doesn't it make you want to talk to Shono even more? Yeah. here. Dr. Shono, what is it? How did you get in here? I just want to ask you a few questions, Dr. Shono. Well, I don't have anything I can say to you. Apologies. I need you to handle this. I have to go. Hey, where are you going? This won't take long. Sorry. I can't let you go any further. Call security. Shono! Go, Yagami-san. We can't let him get away. It's our only chance. Shona, wait! 
Luca! This is Shono. 30 seconds? Just get over here! minutes. Do you hear me? <sighs> Funny that we'd end up here of all places. This is the room, right? The man who died after you used him as a test subject for 89. Why'd you do it, Shono? For the glory? What are you talking about? This is trust. Huh. Uh, huh. I thought you'd be a little more curious about how much of your secret I... Uh, I, I don't know. You're the one backing the mole. Isn't that right? Huh? That's not all I know. Hamura's the middleman. I won't stand for this... Faceless slander. <laughs> you just made a big mistake, Sh Huh? You've been working non-stop on this new drug. No way the street slang about a murderer would have reached your... You were supposed to ask what the mole is. Uh, There's a good boy. The serial killer who's been gouging people's eyes out. It all started three years ago. <sighs> you performed an 89 experiment probably late at night. And when he died, you did the only thing you could. <sighs> I'm sure Wakusan's death came as a complete shock to you. But you didn't have time to panic. You needed to hide the body, fast. So you used the laundry cart to transport it without raising suspicion. You just needed to get it as far away as possible. Then, just before 8 a.m., Shinpei Okubo arrived at the hospital to gather the linens. That was your chance. You waited for an opening, hid the body in his truck. That wouldn't solve anything, though. Okubo would find Wakusan, and of course call the cops. Naturally, they'd then search for whoever stashed the body there. But you didn't have any other choice, did you? You had to take the risk. And somehow, it paid off. Turned out, Shinpei Okubo had a criminal record and was worried the police would suspect he murdered Wakusan. So, he didn't report it. Instead, choosing to bury the body deep in the Okutama Mountains. You were probably thrilled with Okubo. 
I mean, it's practically a miracle someone else stepped up and took the blame for you, wouldn't you say? I don't know what you're talking about. But then another miracle happened. One not so convenient for you. Ogobo walked. And if he was innocent, that would mean someone else killed Wakusan. They might have even come after you if you didn't do anything. Which is when you sold your soul to the devil. What, what, what do you mean by that? Don't play dumb with me. You know all too damn well what I'm talking about. You needed to frame Okubo. And you murdered someone in cold blood to do it. Murder? Who are you accusing me of killing? Emi Terasawa, a co-worker of yours, and Okubo's girlfriend. Oh. You forced your way into their apartment and murdered Emmy. According to the autopsy report, she was stabbed at least 15 times. I didn't. Did she tell you Okubo-kun had been taking pills to help him sleep at night? Conveniently enough, he didn't wake up while you were murdering his girlfriend. Him smelling like booze was probably your doing too. Let me guess, you injected him with alcohol? That'd raise his BAC no problem. And sure, he could have died if you messed up, but that wouldn't have mattered, as long as you could chalk up Emmy's murder to a drunk, suicidal Okobokun. <sighs> and once you made sure you could pin the blame on Okobo, you set fire to the whole apartment. What evidence do you have to- Don't worry. I can't prove it yet. But I'm damn near positive I'm on the right track. I can see it in your eyes. Look. I know what you're thinking. 89 will save countless people. Meaning there's no way you're not doing the right thing. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Shono, but that's just not true. You know, when someone thinks they're in the right, that's when the real cruelty in people starts to come out. So what do you say, Shono? Are you really right? <laughs> Just what is going on in here, dammit? Oh, hey. We were just heading out. Why, you... And by the way, so sorry to hear about 89. <sighs> Maybe you, uh, need a few more humans to test it on? <gasps> <laughs> Don't worry. Shono-san here didn't tell us a damn thing. But hey, I'm gonna find out the truth. Uh, uh, Even if it's the last thing I do. Whoops, my foot slipped. How clumsy of me. That hurt, huh? I asked you if it hurt. Please, I didn't kill her. You have to believe me. Oh, crying's not gonna help you now, kid. Just like it didn't help Emi Terasawa. You still stabbed me in the fucking stomach, didn't you, you little shit?
Look, Okubo, I don't want to go getting your hopes up just yet. But... Just listen. I was gonna say... I believe you. You didn't kill her. I can see that now. It'll all work out. I'm gonna avenge Emi-chan. And I swear I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise. Sorry, I... I should have said that to you a lot sooner. What was I doing? These three years... I didn't do a damn thing to help you. So, will you give me another chance? Of course I will. Of course. Thank you so much. Three years ago, a dementia patient at the ADDC was murdered. Even now, Shinpei Okubo, the man convicted of the crime, pleads innocence. But Yagami's theory that this chain of events was set in motion by human experimentation for AD9 unveils the true culprit behind Emi Terasawa's death. <laughs>